All right. Good morning, everyone. Today's Thursday, April the 27th, and this is the Moneyball Morning Report for the Benzinga Pro platform. We are looking at um, our stock tickers only here, and they are going to be stock tickers that are on the broad market, focused on the SPY Qs and um, the triple leveraged SPY and Qs. Okay, so here we go. For the SPY, we're still inside of the prior month. That number that we're sitting around uh, yesterday was 405. Notice, folks, I'm not changing these lines. They come in, they bounce off the zones just because they break a line. It doesn't mean that line is never to be looked at again. As soon as it's recaptured, you know the traders are going to try and make it up the ledge. So where are we right now? They we're sitting at around uh, 407. We really want to get up here into the 409, 410 area. My thought is that that is what is going to happen. Whenever a chart is in steep upward motion and it fades on the first pass, it's going to bring in value buyers. Those value buyers are sitting at 405. If we lose 405, 402 is next and then 400. Are we eventually going there? Yes, I do believe we are, but at this point, not so much. So I'm going to be looking at the floor of 405 to pick up some calls and to do things like that. If it does not come in and it continually begins to rise, we can look at this and then realize that once we're up over the one, the 40750, we'll be in good shape to get to 409 and then 410. Let's take a look at the cues. Levels here, we're still in tech this afternoon. Uh, Amazon reports yesterday, Meta reported it was in fair shape, looked pretty good. Now what we're looking at is this number here, 311, um, is where we closed in the cues. The baseline floor for this bounce pattern looks to me like 308. But once we get up above 310, we started marching to 312. We're now inside of the range of last week. This is good for the chart. It tells us they're going to buy these edges. Look at the wicks here, okay? Here's what we notice. We have lower lows and lower highs but those lower highs are pushing. So the next line in the sand, in my mind, is 315 to 317. And then finally, 318, it's gonna put us right back in this zone. I do not believe the broad market has found general direction. Okay, so let's take a look. We're just gonna do one edge. We're gonna do the SPXL. That's the long side, um, triple leveraged ETF. And here are the ranges that we are looking at today. Today looks like a pretty nice bounce zone for this to be long. You wanna look for somewhere around 70 and some change, really for the intro. Get that first fade to see if it holds the bounce and then you can walk it up. My philosophy on the triple leveraged is in and out each day. Does that mean that you have to have um, a, an account big enough to handle pattern day trading? Yes, you can do options, but it's also the same thing. You've got to have an account big enough to do that. If not, you can use someone like Trade the Pool, which is absolutely fantastic love those guys i'll be bringing them on introducing you to them and letting you learn more about how you can trade intraday and as much as you want to get to your target goals in this sort of space so it's absolutely fantastic so here's what you do if you lose 70 70 the floor looks to be somewhere around 70 20 right so you've got about 50 cents here to the downside and, eh, you know, 50 cents to the upside. Maybe more if it squeezes. It just depends. I don't think it's going to be an easy trade at all in general because we are going to get 
pretty messy. So wait for the fade, look for a double bottom, right? Look for a bottoming formation that tells you, hey, I'm still holding this edge, it's great. Right now, this is resistance. They're trying to get up over the floor, so the first thing the sellers are gonna do is come in and go, no, I'm gonna try and force you back down. So the question is, can we hold the low? If you can come in all the way to 7020 and it pushes up into that 7180, you're gonna have a fantastic trade. All right, the next one we're gonna look at is the TQQQ. All right, so this one, same kind of pattern. Take a look, take, take a look at what's going on inside of the downward flow. We've got a downward flow on the month, upward flow on the week, upward flow on the day, but retesting old resistance, that could be new support. So where are we? On the ledge right here at this 2556, that is a beautiful number. It's going to sit right at heavy congestion. So if we get a bottoming formation, what it's going to do is fade, and then we'll be able to pull it up off of this ledge. So what is that fade to? 2551. That looks like a really nice level. And then 2592. And if you can wait on this fade, I think you'll be in pretty good shape. Got to be patient today. Sellers are going to come in first because they want to defend the broken line of support right here around 2650. All right, that's it. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you all tomorrow.